We can also multiply them by numbers. Once again, I'll state what it is. You will be familiar with it. But again, pay attention to the context. No reference at all to any numbers, any components. Here is the vector a. Let's multiply it by 2. What does it mean to multiply it by 2? Well, once again, a seemingly arbitrary definition. You keep its direction, you double its length. So I said length. Is it fair to say length? Well, it's absolutely fair to say length because this guy has a length. If I had a tape measure, I could tell it its length. I don't need a coordinate system to tell you length. It's far more fundamental a concept than you would ever do with numbers. Just measure it, that's the length. So these vectors, these objects are endowed naturally with the concept of length. So it's perfectly fair to say length. I can also multiply a vector by a negative number. Once again, by convention, not by convention, by definition, you have to reverse its direction. So if this is a, then minus, then minus 2a looks like this. So we can add vectors together and multiply them by numbers. So it's beginning to feel mathematical. In fact, they are very mathematical objects.